First, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the giveaway. We're doing a Moonology giveaway here. This was donated graciously by Usagi, one of the moderators of the channel. And she also sent me a lot of other decks. So it's just so awesome. So I wanted to give back and do a free giveaway. It's absolutely free to you. Um, I ship for free anywhere you are. It doesn't matter. This is the deck, but there's a brand new almost brand new deck in the box. This is my deck that I've been using for a while here. So anyways, it's an awesome deck, but I thought I'd give you a peek at it and do your reading and let's get some advice and guidance messages from the Moonology for you. So if you're interested in that giveaway, all you need to do is hit the thumbs up, the like button, subscribe, it's absolutely free. Comment down below that you're interested and make sure, um, you know, your your username makes sense because when I make the announcement, I need to be able to pronounce it okay. Uh, just an FYI there because some, you know, I had one where it's just a period, a dot um, for the username. So it's just something to be aware of, okay? Because what I'm going to do is at the end of the month, I'm going to make a short video announcing the lucky winner. I will put all of your names in uh, a basket, okay? And I will do a reading as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I know you're all anxious, angels and spirits. What are the newest messages, advice, and guidance for Taurus? What are the most important messages they need to hear for the balance of September? Stay until the end or you're going to miss all of the important messages, okay? Because I am going to be digging in using the Neo Rider deck, okay, with your energy, mutual energies between you and whoever is on your mind, Taurus, using our exclusive Chasey Prism Tarot deck and your person's energy on the gold foil deck. Um, and then we're gonna get advice and guidance messages. I'm also gonna pull the psychic tarot. I'm gonna find out what's going on in your energy or the person you're dealing with. I do wanna say the energies can be flipped, vice versa. It can be all of your energy, their energy, or a combination. Anybody that's affecting your energy can show up in this reading. It is a general though. If you want a personal reading, you can definitely hit me up at shacy.com. That is more geared towards your energy. So this is for anybody with a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, Taurus, we have the answers you need are coming. Okay, so if you're looking for answers to something that you are questioning, the answers are coming, whether you find out, whether somebody tells you, they are coming. Okay, beautiful. And this is great. Luck is on your side. Okay, so I feel like luck is going in your favor. That's fantastic. You better claim that one. Ooh, even better. The spirit wants you to believe in the impossible. Okay, so if you think something's impossible, spirit says, nah, anything's possible. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. What are the messages for Taurus? I'm also going to pull the tarot charms as well. Okay, and yeah, we're good to do it. What are the messages for Taurus? What are the most important messages for Taurus? What do they need to know for the balance of September? Angels and spirits, what are the messages for Taurus? Okay, so, ooh, okay, so I feel like somebody could be kind of keeping something on the down low that they have let something go, refused somebody, and they've been very unhappy, very uninspired where they are. They've been bored, discontent, fed up, okay? They're not happy. Maybe this is you not happy with the opportunities you've had and you are just trying to figure things out, Taurus. There's intuition needs to be trusted here, okay? Believe in the impossible spirit is definitely saying the answers you need are coming and luck is on your side. So that's fantastic. So uh, trust your intuition here. We've got the moon here showing quite brightly here that there's certain things that you may not know right now or whoever you're dealing with. Could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. This is also an action taker. Let's see, why is the Queen of Wands here? Ooh, we have the death. So that's interesting because I saw that there was something closing here, somebody being refused. So I feel like you may have ended a situation with a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. I also have Scorpio energy here, death and transformation, something new beginning, something ending with a fire sign so that something new can begin. Okay, but you're feeling stuck. stuck. Oh my goodness, my words today. <laughs> I'm tired, Taurus. I'm trying to wake up here. Uh, the strength came out in reverse, so it can be that 
you're trying to end something with a fire sign, but you're feeling like you don't have the strength right now. You're feeling stuck. Spirit says you're overthinking it. Believe in the impossible here. Yeah, there's completion here. We have the world energy here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo again, um, Scorpio, or a another Taurus, or this is you. Trying to have the strength to become unstuck, to end something with a fire sign, or to take the a action to end something, to have a completion in your life here. You're feeling bound and tied, stuck. Feeling like you don't have enough, the strength, or you're holding yourself back from ending a situation, going through a completion. Why? Why? And again, this can be flipped. Okay. You're worried about financial loss, a breakup, emotional financial loss. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Taurus for September. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Spirit is saying here that there is something, you know, that it's time for closure with the world energy. That means that one cycle is closing with the death energy so that a new one can begin. It's like someone's trying to control the situation, stopping it from happening. Trying to leave it stuck. Someone's trying to be patient and balance and temper their emotions here. You may have rejected a Queen of Wands. I did see that in pre-shuffle. Sagittarius energy here. Strong Sagittarius, strong Leo. And strong, strong Leo again, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius are the strongest. Clarify temperance. Clarify temperance for Taurus for September. I'm trying to hold myself back, overthinking things, feeling left out in the cold. You could be dealing with a fire sign who feels left out in the cold by you. They're overthinking things. Hmm. Okay. It's like, I want to apologize. Somebody wants to apologize. This has been too stressful. It's been weighing me down. It's been breaking my heart. Somebody wants to apologize for breaking your heart or you're breaking their heart here for leaving them out in the cold for... Making them feel like they, you know, that you didn't, um, that you rejected them. Again, flip the energies if you need to. What's going on in Taurus's person's energy? How are they currently feeling toward Taurus for September 2022? Apologizing for being stuck, not being able to end a situation. I had a lot of responsibilities. I was worried about a lack of money. I needed to be patient. I need to temper my emotions. I'm sorry for breaking your heart. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? How is Taurus' person currently feeling toward Taurus? What do they need to know? For the balance of September, what are the updated messages, please? Angels and spirits for Taurus. Whoever they're dealing with. What do they need to know? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September. What are the newest messages? How is Taurus this person, whoever they're thinking about, thinking towards, feeling towards Taurus? What are they feeling toward Taurus? What are the updated messages? Yeah, it's, it's, um, there's a closure here. Somebody closed a cycle, refused somebody, wasn't ready to accept somebody's cup. Yeah, okay, so we're holding back here we're keeping our feelings and our thoughts to ourselves we could be penny pinching here you or your person again feel free to flip the energies don't forget forget to check your other placements if you know what they are taurus uh, you can get the whole picture okay i i definitely resonate with my moon and my rising as well as my sun sign quite a lot so yeah okay so interesting holding back an apology trying to hold myself back from apologizing
it's like I'm not ready to lay this down. I'm feeling stuck because financially I haven't been ready or I want to apologize for not being ready in the past because I was worried about my finances here and I had a lot of responsibilities I had to face. And I'm sorry I broke your heart, but I had to hold myself back and hold on to my money. I was penny pinching. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. What are we holding on to here? Taurus is person of interest or vice versa. What are they holding on to? What are they holding on to? We're here with the Four of Pentacles. What are they holding on to? What are they holding on to? Four of Pentacles. What are they holding on to? Indecision about walking away. I'm not happy here. I'm not getting everything I need. I'm not emotionally fulfilled. It's empty here, but I really don't know what happens or what will happen if I walk away from here. I'm in the dark about many things if I walk away, so I'm gonna hold back. I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna temper my emotions. But it's like somebody wants to message or reach out like it's really weighing them down. They want to message or reach out or apologize for breaking your heart or vice versa here. But I'm holding back because I'm not sure whether you're not sure whether you should or they're not. It's indecision. It's like I'm blocking walking away. I'm stuck right now. It's like it's something to do with being patient, possibly doing due to finances. Or I'm worried about, you know, I've got all these responsibilities. Yeah, it's like I can't lay down these responsibilities yet. But Spirit is saying you can't get one more responsibility on your back, Taurus. You're exhausted. Somebody's exhausted. If it's not you, it's whoever you're dealing with. Clarify the two of swords. What are we indecisive about? That can be being blocked. Mm, Empress. There you are. Taurus, Libra. But it can also be a mother figure. The Empress is somebody who embodies all the queens or a mother, somebody who's abundant, nurturing, the go-to person for advice and guidance. You want to apologize to the Empress or they want to apologize to you for walking away, but we're blocking this connection or holding back. Tempering emotions, being quiet. Something to do with a lot of responsibilities. Clarify the Empress. Who says Empress for Taurus? Clarify the Empress for Taurus. It's like, I want to apologize. I didn't know what direction to go. I had to hold on. I had to keep things to myself because I was at a crossroads. I didn't know what I wanted. So that's either you or your person, Taurus. Clarify the Empress for Taurus. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want to communicate or they want to communicate with you, but I'm holding back right now because I'm, I'm trying to trust my intuition because I'm in the dark about so many things. Before I walk away, very strange. Yeah, okay, so here's the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Hangman. So it's about looking at other viewpoints, communicating about, I wanted to look at other viewpoints. I had to pace myself while I looked at other viewpoints. I needed to sacrifice because I had a lot of responsibilities. I was worried about money, so I had to hold back. And I want to apologize for that. Somebody hasn't been happy where they are, but they were blocking this connection because of money, because of timing, self-sacrificing. And now it's like they want to communicate. Wow. And then we got the nine of pentacles, 10 to the nine. Okay. So somebody is sacrificing. There's closure here. Somebody's closing a door here, a marriage, a commitment, or somebody or something they were committed to. Okay, we've got two tens here, and we've got the world and the death. We're closing a chapter here. We're letting go 
we've held on to this long enough now it's time to let go and we're becoming single financially stable So we wanted to block a connection or anything moving forward or any communication until we were financially stable. That's kind of what I'm getting towards. Let me know if that's resonating for you. Let's go ahead and get the mutual energies and actually let's pull some tarot charms for you right now. Moving on for Taurus for September. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So... You know, the first messages that came out, luck is on your side, believe in the impossible, and the answers you need are coming, okay? So Spirit is saying you have the key to your happiness here, okay? But you've been kind of holding on to that key. You weren't ready to use the key yet, and this is going to bring you to your home, sweet home, and there's the key dangling again, okay? It's kind of like, I want to be sitting pretty first, okay? So maybe for some of you, Taurus, you wanted to purchase a home, okay? It can be because we've got the key in the house and we've got sitting pretty. So it's almost like I wanted to be financially independent, maybe be able to buy or purchase a home, something like that. So I could be sitting pretty and yeah. And somebody's, you know, remained hopeful here. I have the hope that everything is going to work out the way that I hope it will. You know, um, I want to anchor myself. So the anchor and the home and the key. So it's like, I want to set my roots here. And I'm having the hope that it's going to happen. And I'm going to be sitting pretty. I'm going to be financially stable here. Mm -hmm. You're letting go of something. And it's like, now that I'm financially stable, I, I can sacrifice this and move forward and head towards... A new beginning after the ten of wands comes the ace of wands and then we have the message and i said the eight of wands here is a message of i love you um we have the page of cups on both sides so it's like we want to message each other here i love you i'm sorry I was holding on to money, decision, holding back my feelings until I took care of my responsibilities. Because we've got the four or five of pentacles all the way to the nine of pentacles. It's like you've just like all of a sudden like you've become very financially independent here. Like you've been working really hard at something. Could be self-employed or dealing with somebody who's self-employed here. And doing well. Wow, Taurus. Wishes do come true. So this is a wish that's coming true for you. Okay? This is about divine timing here. Because we've got temperance. So you needed to really, really balance yourself out here. Because you were not only feeling financial loss, but emotional loss here as well. Trying to hold back how you were feeling. Because you had a lot of responsibilities and that left you feeling stuck. So you have been kind of trying to balance everything out, weigh everything out. Look at other perspectives as well. And you held back until you could figure out which direction you were going to go. But there is communication either I'm incoming to you or this is you. We've got the Empress next to the Eight of Wands. I want to think that's you walking away from another situation and wanting to communicate here about kind of being in limbo. You were in limbo about making a decision here. You're either going to be talking to so, someone who is single and financially independent you want to talk to, communicate with, apologize to, again, flip the energies, or this is you. You know, you're becoming single. You've become single and you've let go of a situation. We do have a chapter closing here. It's either you or whoever you're dealing with. Closing a chapter here, wanting to read out, reach out and say how you feel. 
Spirit wants you to know wishes do come true and to believe in the impossible, that luck is definitely on your side here. And you have the key to your home sweet home. You can definitely be sitting pretty here in the near future. It's about anchoring yourself. Finding your happy place is what I'm getting. Home sweet home. What are the mutual energies between Taurus and whoever they're dealing with? How are they mirroring one another when it comes to their connection? Okay, yeah balancing so this is about you know balancing a connection here but there could also have been like justice or legal issues as well that may have allowed you to become financially independent like i said you went from the four to the five like penny pinching holding on to every penny you know feeling a sense of lack to suddenly being like very financially stable independent here and doing well or again this is whoever you're dealing with things are going to balance out for you here You've had to really temper your emotions, I'm getting here, and hold yourself back. You've been holding yourself back from communicating to somebody, or they have you. Clarify the mutual energies. This is about wishes coming true, going toward something you've been hoping for. Yeah, it's like, you know, we're needing to balance ourselves because this is taking a lot of, you know, stress. It's taking a lot of strength because of all the stress and the depression here. Because I've been holding back how I feel here but still trying to remain hopeful that things are going to go, you know, the way I hope they will. Emotions are running high here. This is water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And new love. So this is a new connection you could be going towards. You want to communicate with somebody how you feel with the water energy here that you've been maybe stressed, depressed, going through justice or legal issues or trying to balance yourself out, your emotions, your checkbook, everything here. And that's what left you kind of stuck in limbo. If you're in a commitment or they were in a commitment, they're walking away. It's like I haven't been happy for a long time. And that was one of the sacrifices that had to be made in order for you to go towards you wanted new love. And you want stability. Yeah. I can see that here. Because, you know, you've got home sweet home and the key and sitting pretty. So you wanted to be sitting pretty. You didn't want to have to be uh, stressed over money anymore because you were feeling a sense of lack. So either you were working really hard and didn't really good, you know, financially independent. You were you a business owner, whatever. Or you came into some money through some justice or legal settlement here. And that's why you had to be patient. I'm getting both messages. So each one of you are going to be different. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Let me know how this is resonating. Again, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. It's absolutely free. Hitting the notification bell so you get notified if you wanted to get in on the Moonology giveaway. Okay. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. What are the messages they need to hear for the balance of September? Let's see what's going on, Taurus. You've got a lot going on here. But it's great because there's a new beginning here. You're able to let go of whatever has been kind of leaving you in limbo, leaving you stressed here. Things are going to balance out. You're walking away from an unhappy situation here. And you will be financially stable, independent, doing well. So wishes can come true. Spirit definitely wants you to believe in the impossible here. Okay, service. So maybe you felt like you had to kind of service everybody you know again the ten of wands you had a lot of responsibilities you were giving to everybody here maybe others you had to let go of other things and that's what stressed you out maybe yeah that's kind of what i mean okay mm -hmm. you may have gone into a period of self-isolation here Wanting to be alone. And this may have affected for some of you your self-worth or the person you were dealing with. Somebody's heart was broken here because somebody felt like they weren't worthy. You may have refused them or rejected them or they rejected you or something happened here or you went to a period of isolation but somebody's definitely gone through enlightenment here
I feel like somebody's realized that, you know, in order to move forward and get out of this stuck energy of being indecisive here and in limbo, you know, I need to make a decision here. And somebody was kind of holding back on making a decision, but I feel like it was mostly for financial reasons, A and B, because, you know, the heart was going to be broken here. There was a sacrifice here that had to be made. And ultimately, it's it affects somebody's self-worth here. but And it could have put you or them in a period of isolation. The Spirit wants you to have faith. We have faith and we have hope here. That things, you know, your dreams can come true here. Believe in the impossible. So if you think something's impossible, Taurus, Spirit is telling you, no, that's not true. Believe in the impossible. Have hope and faith here. You can go towards your home sweet home. You can set your anchor here. Somebody loves you. You love somebody. There's new love here. Things are going to be balanced and fair. Emotions are running here for sure. You can have stability here if you want it. But there's people, places, and things you need to walk away from, you or whoever you're dealing with, because you're not happy there. You're no longer feeling supported there or the love there is may have been there one time, but it's gone now. There's It's like empty. It's time to let this go. It's time to heal. It's time to move forward and have new love, new chapter, new stability, new home, maybe for some of you here. Yeah. Okay. So trusting your intuition, there's the moon energy, but that's also like there's certain things you're not meant to know right now. Like we don't always have all the answers. If you're unsure of where you are right now and you're unsure of where you're going, but you know you're not happy where you are, Spirit is saying you can leave that behind because at the other side of that mountain you've got to climb, the sun will shine again. Like Being indecisive isn't going to solve the issue. We have the ring. Interesting. What is hidden is the ring. Closure to a marriage or commitment or new love. Mm. Could be someone from your childhood. Thinking about you, you're thinking about them. But it's also like I'm focusing on this, this happy rainbow, this happiness here, what I could have. Like I'm thinking about that. I'm reminiscing about that, about my past. You're hiding those emotions maybe right now or they are. <laughs> Trying to keep your head above water there, being strong, going with the flow. Somebody's going with the flow, trying to be stronger. That's what you need to do. That's what you feel you need to do. Because it's like I'm holding on to how I feel in my emotions right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you keep looking closer. You keep looking at everything with a magnifying glass. I've got to look real close before I make any decisions. And it's about opening that book, opening that new chapter. One chapter's closing. Here's the book. You need to open it. And it's interesting because... This dress is driving me crazy right now, by the way. Um... We've got the clock here. Divine timing, divine timing. You 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 want to look real close before you open that book, and it's taking time. Again, I feel like a lot of it has to do with stability here. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. So it's like you're looking real close. You're trying to go with the flow right here, right now. You're keeping your emotions hidden. You're trying to, you know, perhaps isolate isolate yourself right now and have the faith while a chapter's closing, okay? And you could be going through justice or legal issues, but you're also, like, sacrificing here because somebody's heart's going to be broken. So you're kind of taming your emotions, trying to control how everything's played out here. And you're keeping a mask on or somebody is here pretending that everything's okay. But meanwhile, there's stress, there's depression here as well. Yeah, because I feel like it's like, you know, it's the timing. It's all in the timing. You're holding back like until the time you feel is right. 
because there's certain things that you don't know or you don't trust or you just don't, you're not trusting your intuition on. And because you don't know, because you feel in the dark, I feel about a few things. You're not ultimately trusting, you know, the moon that's there. I feel like Spirit's saying with the Eight of Wands, there needs to be forward communication and a choice or a decision made here. You need to maybe travel or communicate in order to have growth because there's growth on these wands, okay? So Spirit is saying communication, travel, something here will create growth here with those buds. <laughs> you know, I'm almost getting the feeling that, yeah, there's, okay, there's definitely, we've got the mountain, we've got the bridge. Uh, there's bridge, mountain, you must cross. We've got the whip here. So I feel like you're keeping yourself under wraps. You're trying to figure everything out here before you cross this bridge because there's a few things you're going to need to whip here like you're gonna and it's all taking time so you know these decisions these choices here moving forward and being in limbo is because you're trying to be very careful as you're walking away from a situation here as to how you make these decisions because each decision is taking time and it's like you are keeping a mask on in the meantime until you kind of whip everything into shape is what I'm getting here. Spirit says be in the mind of gratitude here as well. Having the faith, the hope. We've got the sun and we've got the moon. So it's like, this is the light and the dark, okay? So I feel like, you know, right now you're kind of, you wanna go towards the light, the happiness, travel, communication, love messages, this new love, you know? I, I feel like you're having the hope and the faith here, but at the same time, you're not ultimately trusting it. You're, you're trying to, see what's up ahead before it hits you because it's like you want a sure thing you know like you're kind of scared to open this new chapter because it's kind of like i don't really know what's going to happen when i open that book so you're you're kind of you know in limbo over that wow taurus this is heavier than i thought it would be i'm at 33 minutes i need to <laughs> But I'm not done yet. That's the thing. I need to get, you're, you have a heavy reading. So there is a heavy decision and choice you have to make here, okay? And I feel like you're keeping up a facade of some sort here until the time is right, okay? Because you want your life to be, ultimately, you want it to be stable before you move forward. So you're holding yourself back from actually moving forward, communicating here until the time is right. So it's either to do with a legal decision here, okay? Um, becoming financially independent it can be that you're a business owner and you know you want to make sure that's intact first wow yeah no there's a storm coming okay which makes perfect sense because like i said there's a chapter closing in your life that you know we've got the ten of wands got the ten of pentacles and walking away and we've got the world card so there's something closing so a storm is brewing it's all in the timing yeah you're going toward the path that is right for you this is, will bring you on the path that is right for you you're going toward the path that is right for you you're trying to resolve your responsibilities and holding back your emotions and sacrifice to take care of all your responsibilities is kind of what I'm getting. Oh my goodness, they're all dropping out. 
there's that bridge again yeah you're on a journey here okay goddess of the moon you may feel like somebody is the goddess of the moon here okay but to me this is about trusting your intuition and when is the right time to take this journey to kind of throw caution to the wind and say okay it's time for me to cross this bridge here most definitely here i think you know it's going to create a storm there's the bridge but I also think you know what your temple path is, what is right for you here. And you don't ultimately trust your intuition, but you're trying to trust your intuition. You're, you want it to be as risk-free as possible here. Because I feel like you're, you're kind of like trying to fulfill your obligations here. Okay? So some of you are, you know, definitely needing to work on your sixth chakra. Sixth chakra here, you know, and... That doesn't surprise me. That's, you know, opening up the um, the third eye, which is what I was telling you about the intuition and stuff. Maybe you've just started learning how to trust your intuition here or it's nagging at you here. Like, go on this journey. Go toward what is right for you here. You know, your wishes can come true. Have the hope and faith. You've got the key to your happiness, but you have to ultimately choose to do that. I feel like you're trying to control the timing in which that plays out is what I'm getting here. But spirit does want you to um, be more open and imaginative to the possibilities that are available to you, okay? Um, opening up that third eye is going to help you make that path a little bit easier for you, okay? We can't control everything, but I definitely feel like you're trying to control by timing, temperance, as well as storm warning as to when this storm's going to hit here, okay? Uh, <laughs> Be careful with that. But, you know, you do have new love here and somebody loves you, you love them. And I feel like you can have your home sweet home. This is the path you were meant to go on. And it may create a storm, but I really feel like you're trying to temper those emotions. It's all over your reading. It's like you're trying to control everything. So be careful of that because that <laughs> will create one heck of a storm uh, when you take the mask off. Whether that's you or somebody else. But we do have faith and hope here and gratitude for what you do have. Okay, so. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it here. This is a heavy reading. <laughs> I need a cocktail. I'm just saying. Okay, I send you much love, much light. I will see you all again next time. Don't forget about the Moonology giveaway. Let me know how this resonates, but keep that third eye wide open, Taurus. Yes. All right. Luck is on your side. Remember and believe in the impossible. We have a home sweet home here and new love is what I'm seeing here. So the answers you need are coming. All right. Namaste. Bye for now.